Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial and in this one I will be taking a look at the graph editor and uh, so if we click here right which is this icon to get into the graph editor we can see that it's currently blank so to get any information at all here we need to first have an animation going on right or to assign some keyframes so I'm just gonna go to the timeline properties here I'm going to add a simple shape and turn on the anime button and I'm going to go over to my keyframes properties and I'm just going to delete this initial one because I don't want it and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my object and once we move it we get a keyframe so if I should go over to my graph editor now we see that that keyframe has been assigned now you can move it within the graph editor as well. I mean, we know we can move it here, but we can also move it here, All right? Um, and this initial one is, the, its origin is Y, which means it's, um, it's more prevalent on the Y axis, right? So if we move it up or down, we can see that it's Y, um, it's been altered on the Y axis, right? Which is up or down. Um, so let me just go back here and come down on my timeline and i'm just going to have this let's say move over to assign another keyframe right so if i go back to the graph editor we see that very keyframe this is its, its movement and we can of course alter that we can change the speed at which it moves right by the closer the keyframes are together we know that um, the quicker it moves the further apart the the slower the animation would move so if i should move this closer to the the original keyframe and i press play it moves fast right if i move it out it takes a lot of um, a bit longer to get over to that side now we can go on the graph itself um, and if we well we can go anywhere on the curve and if we should move the object somewhere else, we would get another keyframe on the curve. And you can, of course, alter this keyframe. So if I should play this back, notice how it's actually the object itself, based on where this keyframe is, it's creating a curve. So it goes up, then over, then down. So we can alter that by moving this down. And we can, um, by doing this, we can have it going down and then, you know, creating a curve and coming up. So if I should play, if I should scrub, we can see that movement going on right there. And notice it also slows down a bit, right? Each time you add a keyframe and create a curve, it um, automatically slows it down, right? Because to, to get this curve or to get this dip, it has to take its time come down here and then move itself over of course we can make that a bit um, quicker if we move for example this keyframe closer to the initial keyframe and press play right we see to get from this point to this point it moves quickly but then it slowly comes over to this part here um, I don't want to make things too complicated which I believe I've already so um, let's get rid of some of these keyframes right um let me delete this one and i accidentally deleted all of it don't um while you're in this panel right here the key the timeline properties don't press delete on the keyframes it deletes every keyframe so let me just go back and just right click this and remove go back to my graph editor right and I seem to have lost everything. Which is weird. All right, so that seems to be a bug, but let me add another keyframe. Okay, and it's back. All right, uh, so, so yeah, uh, you can remove keyframes here by just right-clicking and uh, remove. Um, you can select keyframes in this panel and press delete and the keyframe will be uh, removed right so 
um, if you want to delete keyframes by pressing delete, just make sure you're in the graph editor rather than the timeline panel here. Okay. Uh, so I'm just going to, and we can add keyframes in here as well. So just move that back down. Right. So we can see all the, using these, the, the graph editor, we can easily alter the curves and the movement of the, um, the object within the scene, right? Whether it be the left, the, uh, the X axis or the, the Y axis. And we can get a bit more control over these frames by, you know, right clicking and we can go to edit and we can alter the tension as well. Right, so we can let me change this to, for example, 60. Apply, okay. Go here and then go to edit. I'm going to change this to maybe 20. Apply, okay. And right click this one, edit. And maybe I'm going to put this one to 30. Apply. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So if I play, we see that movement going on there. Right. Um, I didn't show you what it looked like before, so let me undo all of those and then play it. So this is what it looks like before. And that's essentially how the graph editor works, right? Just use it to alter your curves and alter the animation overall. So that's it for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Yo, MRD.